Now you're ready to start reassembling your valve. We'll start with the stuffing box assembly. You'll start by taking your packing rings and installing them on your packing sleeve. Coat it with grease and slide it into your stuffing box assembly. Next you'll put in your follower and your spring. Now you'll need to mount the stuffing box assembly into a vise. Put your outer o-ring onto your stuffing box and mount your cage to the stuffing box assembly. You'll want to use your hand to put downward force on the cage and use a screwdriver to engage the threads. You don't want to tighten the cage down all the way so that you can install your trim through the stuffing box assembly later on. Now we'll install our felt wiper, retainer, and snap ring into the top end of our stuffing box assembly. Now's a good time to inspect your trim and your seat to make sure that there's not any corrosion or erosion that would prevent the valve from sealing. Now you can put your stuffing box assembly back in your vise and install your trim and seat. Put the valve body into the vise. Grease the O-rings on the stuffing box assembly and place the stuffing box into the valve body. Tighten it with a large crescent wrench until snug. Now you should be ready to reassemble your top works. We'll start by putting together our lower adjustment screw. Mount your outer O-ring, your inner O-ring, your felt wiper, your retainer, and your snap ring. Go ahead and put some grease on your lower adjustment screw o-ring and then install it into your yoke. The Topworks diaphragm doesn't come in your Kimray repair kit, so it's important to check for any abnormal wear like punctures or swelling. If everything looks okay, you can then install it on your diaphragm plate. The bowl of the Topworks diaphragm should always face the diaphragm plate. You can use your custom Kimray wrench a vise to tighten the diaphragm nut down. And it's important not to over tighten it because you'll cause the diaphragm to bulge. Next you can install your upper stem into your diaphragm plate and then install it into the yoke. Be sure to grease your inner o-ring in your lower adjustment screw before you insert the upper stem. Now you can put grease on the bottom of your pivot sleeve, install your lower spring plate, your spring, and your upper spring plate, and grease the top of your spring plate. Then you can install your bonnet You'll want to make sure that your breather plug hole and your supply gas hole are lined up. When you tighten your bonnet bolts, it's important to tighten them in a star pattern like you would the lug nuts on a tire. Next, you can place your O-ring on your upper adjustment screw. Put a dab of grease on top to hold your pivot in place and install the pivot. Don't tighten it down all the way until you install the top works onto your body. Now you can install your breather plug. Now you should be ready to mount the top works on the body. 
Your coupling block comes with two different sides, a flat side that should go on top and the rounded side that goes on bottom. Make sure that this is aligned correctly. Now you can tighten your four lower bolts and your upper adjustment screw. That concludes our repair. If you have any questions about the custom Kimray tools that I use today, reach out to your local rep or go to Kimray.com.